How to Save Money on Car Insurance As gas prices and insurance costs keep going up, you need to find a way to save money on your car insurance. It can be challenging, but thanks to today's video, you will be more confident when you make these kinds of decisions. Number 1. Use Multi-Car Discounts How does this work? More often than not, a single car quotation from an auto insurance provider can be more expensive than a price quote for multiple drivers or vehicles from the same company. So what's going to happen is that insurance firms will give bulk pricing to win your business. In fact, in some cases, they will give you a deal if you bring in more. How to go about it? First, you will have to ask your agent whether you qualify for multi-car discounts. Generally, several drivers must be connected by blood or marriage. Although two unrelated people can also get a discount, but they should own the vehicle together. If one of your drivers is a teenager, you'll have to expect extra costs. But if your child has a B average or is in the top 20% of their class, you may be able to get a substantial student discount on the coverage, which usually lasts until age 25. These discounts can range from 1% to 39%. All you need to do is show your insurance agent proof that your teen is an excellent student. Some firms also offer a discount on auto insurance if you have other policies with them, such as house insurance. You can check to see if savings like 10% off vehicle insurance and 25% off home insurance are available and appropriate. Number 2. Drive carefully That is, drive safely. This is pretty self-explanatory, but with increased in-car distractions, it is worth repeating. Awareness will help you prevent accidents and movement offenses, which can raise your car insurance premiums. Travelers offer safe driver discounts, ranging from 10% to 23%. If you're not familiar with this, driving offenses result in points, and more points mean higher insurance prices, considering all else being equal. Scale down your vehicle. While purchasing a large SUV may sound appealing, insuring a 5,000-pound top-of-the-line vehicle can be more expensive than insuring a small, but safe, lower-cost commuter car. Some insurance companies will give you a discount if you buy a hybrid or alternative fuel vehicle. Farmers, for example, provide a 5% discount on biofuel. You'll feel good about it because you get to conserve the environment and save money on insurance at the same time. The key is to find out the specific cost for insuring the various vehicles you're considering before making a purchase. Number 4. Boost your deductibles. When choosing automobile insurance, you often have the option of selecting a deductible, which is the amount of money that you have to pay before insurance picks up the tab in the event of an accident, theft, or other sorts of vehicle damage. Deductibles commonly range from $250 to $1,000 depending on the policy. The catch is that in general, the greater the annual premium, the lower the deductible. But before we continue, go ahead and click the subscribe and like buttons. It takes a lot to make these videos. Your small actions tell YouTube to keep promoting our videos. Also, tell us in the comment section what you think is the best way to save on car insurance. Thanks. Now back to the video. Number 5. Enroll in a defensive driving course. Insurance companies will sometimes offer discounts to people who finished an approved defensive driving course. Drivers may be able to minimize the number of points on their licenses by enrolling in defensive driving, accident prevention, or other courses related to it. Before you join up for a class, make sure to contact your agent or insurance company about this discount. After all, it's critical that the time and money spent on the course result in a significant enough insurance savings. It is also critical that the driver enrolls in an accredited course. Every state has its own laws for authorized defensive driving classes. Number 6. Look around for lower auto insurance rates. If your insurance is due to expire and the annual premium has risen significantly, you might want to consider shopping around for quotes from rival companies. Also, it's definitely a good idea to get quotations from different companies every year or two, just in case there's a lower rate out there. 
Remember that cheap doesn't necessarily imply good, and choosing the cheapest firm isn't always the best option. This is because the insurer's creditworthiness must also be assessed. After all, what good is a policy if the company doesn't have the resources to pay an insurance claim? You can check out websites that analyze the financial strength of insurance firms to conduct a background check on a certain insurer. Your insurance company's financial strength is crucial, but so is what your contract covers, so make sure you understand it. Number 7. Improve your credit score The driving record of a driver is certainly an important component in deciding vehicle insurance premiums. After all, it stands to reason that a driver with a history of accidents would cost the insurance company a lot of money. But a lot of people don't know that insurance firms may take credit ratings into account when deciding insurance premiums. So it's important that you build and maintain your credit scores. How can you improve your credit score? Number 1. Make on-time payments on all of your loans and credit cards. Number 2. Maintain credit card balances that are well below your credit limitations. And number 3. Only open new credit accounts when absolutely essential. Remember that too many credit card applications can also harm your credit score. Number 8. Consider the location when calculating car insurance rates. It's improbable that you'll relocate to a distant state solely to save money on vehicle insurance. However, if you are thinking about relocation, you should account for the potential change in your auto insurance rates as well. Number 9. Review what your policy covers. Dropping some forms of coverage can be risky. After all, no one can anticipate whether or not an accident will occur. However, if you are driving a really old vehicle and you know that you're going to have to give it up soon, it may make sense to forgo collision. Of course, depending on the cost, your driving record, and other circumstances, the reason for this is that if the vehicle is involved in an accident, the insurance company certainly total the vehicle. If the car is only worth $1,000 and collision insurance is $500 per year, it may not be worth it to buy it. Number 10. Do not always resort to making a claim. If your car is damaged in a collision or other mishap, or there are injuries as a result of the incident, it's vital that one of the first calls you make is to your insurance carrier. But if the damage is minimal and does not involve the party of others, notifying your insurance carrier right immediately may be a mistake. Instead, it's a good idea to go to a repair shop first and get an estimate. The estimate may be less than or close to your deductible. It's not worth making a claim and risking a premium increase. For some insurers, even contacting your agent for guidance on filing a claim counts as an accident on your driving record. Knowing this, it's best to avoid phoning them unless you're certain that filing a claim is the best course of action. 